Alright, right, it's a little bit after 7 o'clock. It's time to start the caucus. Um, Bill is not here, but and Mr. Limmer might be able to talk about this a little bit. Maybe the codified ordinances update status. I saw you had emailed something about that. Well, I think it was still in the preliminary stages that we looked at it before. And I wasn't ready to sign off or you know, sign off of getting anything from them. So I think we just postponed until we get our act together. Okay. Good. How much? How much is this? I don't know. You know, it's a serious. It is bill. A serious amount. Yeah. 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 It might be nine or ten thousand. Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. do the whole thing. The last time we redid the whole book was about eight thousand dollars. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's a lot of money for a book. Uh, no, uh, raise your hand if anybody reads it. Anybody looks at it. You do. Okay. Yeah, everybody I looks at it. Yeah. Okay. I look at it, but when I try to go to sleep at night. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. There's a, there's a lot of corrections in there though that need to be made. Yes. And before we pay for this again, I think those corrections need to be made. Mm -hmm. So we're not paying, you know. Yeah, yeah. And you can get it on, on uh, 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 email. It's all there. Oh well, it's only ten grand. But it's, yeah. We can't give all the away, but we can spend ten grand. We will. You're not kidding. Um, you want to talk about this? A couple of these. You want to talk about this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This ordinance for setting the salary of the village zoning administrator is what we included in the budget that was passed at the last meeting. So this is just the uh, housekeeping to get it done. Um, it is being raised. You can see in section one, it shall be set at seven ninety one sixty six per month, and this is effective for the month of March going forward, not January and February, because we did not pass that budget until March. Now, will this be effective this meeting then? It will be effective, actually, it is going back retroactive to March the 1st. Anyone else have any caucus items they'd like to discuss? Okay. Um, there's nothing else on the caucus. Um, okay. Um, just out of uh, streets, well, police, I should say. Um, Russ should be on everyone's report. Uh, Russ is requesting to carry over his unused vacation time, and so is Officer Koenig. So I will make a motion later. What's Russ have left any idea? He said two and a half weeks. Yeah, weeks. Couldn't give me an exact amount. Does that matter? No. Does it matter? And how much? Well, it could matter for the budget. The definitely budget. for carrying yeah. over. How much time for Koenig? He doesn't know. He just they just want to carry it. Says uh, nine days on his here for Coney. Coney's nine days. Russ said he thought two and a half weeks. Yeah. Nick, you're gonna have to take a look at that. Yeah, look, look, look at Russ. Sure. Oh yeah. I mean, he should be going from year to year. Yeah. yeah. Want to talk to Russ? Uh, okay. okay. He couldn't give me an exact amount. Okay. Okay. But there's no problem with Coney's. In the nine days. Is there a problem with that? Well, that's all that I can see in line item. Yeah. So, how are we in here with the office staff now that these guys are coming in for training? What's going on with that? Well, she said that you authorized like an extra day a week. Not all, not every week, but just another day or so to see the speed. Okay. Is that okay, sir? Well, we see how it is at the end of the year, I and mean, it depends on like, how much sick leave she uses. Then we have to pay her for sick leave, and then when she's off sick, we have to have someone else here. Yep. So, you know, it's, it's a, uh, it's just sort of you have to watch and see. I'd like to suggest, Tim, since um, her complaint was that there's too much work, then actually what we should be thinking about, if that's the case, that it's too much work with the changeover in the way it's being charged, although I'm, I'm not sure if that'll be the case when she starts to make you more comfortable with too it. Too much work with the new... Well, what else, what else has changed that she's saying there's too much work? Well, well the impound... 
is okay. new, and then, well, the credit card system, but right. that makes things easier. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, but if that's the situation that she feels that it's too much work, then we should be thinking about maybe using these part-time people who are being trained maybe four hours a week. Train one the first week, train the other one the second week. They'll get in a little bit of time. This way, that helps her to get the work done if the work is a problem. If you don't feel that it is a problem? I don't know. I mean, I, I, you know, when we sat down and talked about the new credit card machine, I said, Paula, that's going to make your life in this office easier because you're not going to have the traffic come in. That's Everyone's going to do it online. Yeah. Is it just yeah. that maybe she's not proficient at it yet? Right. She just, I think she's just overwhelmed. Um, yeah. I mean, she yeah. seems to be getting better. She's done. She she does it the end of the day. Like she'll get the information. She'll put all her stuff down, and she'll get a number if something doesn't work. She'll run it at four o'clock, and then send her receipt or whatever. But she she does a couple a day, and it seems to be working pretty good so far. Okay. Is she is she still back to thirty five hours a week? No. She's, she's at forty. Okay. In fact, uh, she worked three fourths of an hour on overtime last week. Just okay. to get out of here time. Okay. Well, I mean, there was some talk about a, a pay raise because she feels that there's too much work. But paying her more money isn't going to make the work any different. And I would say then if that's the issue, that we need to have somebody else picking up some hours. Yeah. But just something to think about because, I mean, I don't see where a pay raise helps that kind of a situation. Hey, look, all we got to do is talk to the lady. Get her... Who, who is it? Tim, that, that's your job, right? Chris has done that. I, I've talked to her and we, we done no, I have too. Yeah. And, okay, but let's find out and make a list. The, 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 you know, mm -hmm. and find out instead of just, yeah. you know, bumping around right. here. Yeah. Um. Nick, can that line item support four hours a week? <clears throat> well, like I said, it depends on how much sick leave she uses. Because right. then when she's on sick leave, we have to have someone here. Right, right. So um, we factored in her, I think she gets like three weeks of vacation, but you just don't know how much she's going to use in the way of sick leave. I think they're both pretty close. I mean, they've been here a couple times already. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like she said when they come in, the phone phone traffic isn't heavy, and that's what she wants them to do, to get on the phones. And sometimes it's you can't tell when it's going to be crazy or not crazy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but they, they both seem to know what they're doing. Yeah. They Sounds good. Yeah. Are you proposing like bring in one of the substitutes four hours a week? Right, and the reason I'm saying indefinitely, is like, that conversation at the last yeah. meeting where yeah. it was said that, that she it, she wants she a pay increase up. because she feels that she's doing more yeah. work. Okay. But getting okay. a pay increase doesn't get the work done. Right, right, that won't get the work done. Bringing somebody in some more hours who was trained mm -hmm. would get yeah. it work done. So I, I'm just really confused yeah. about right. and if what. If you only use them four hours a week, that's only fifty dollars a week. Right. So if she needs help, right. maybe yeah. we should be helping her out like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe Mondays would be the best, because that's when all the stuff on the weekends yeah. on her desk, she has to put all the tickets in the system and everything else. Then maybe she wouldn't be so overwhelmed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll see what she wants to do. I don't think that should be a choice, honestly. That she doesn't get to choose a, a raise. Well, I'm, I'm not saying that, but I'm talking about when she wants help, when she needs it most. Is it Monday morning's the worst, or yeah. Wednesday afternoons, or what's the worst day, and we'll have to come in that day. Oh, to have some extra yeah. help. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So okay. you can set on a set. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Cheryl, you're coming in Mondays from 9 to noon. You're switching every other night, and then every other week. Yeah. Right. And that way they'll be here. Okay. And it resolves the problem. Right. If that's okay. what the problem is, yeah. Yeah, because I know Russ was saying um, just with the new impound fees that it, 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 it's generating. Yeah. Well, it is several new things all yeah. at one time. But, um, the impound fees, where do they go to? The court? They go in through the court and okay. then they get transferred over here to the village. Okay. General fund? Yeah. So would something like that help pay for a four hour person, extra person? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have two that are both able. That's going to help us. 
Does anyone else have any cost items? Yeah, I have um, out of <coughs> Western Reserve Fire District, I'll just report real quick um, that our, um, our truck is back. And, and the truck that was in repair shop was, was, was our ladder truck. And the ladder truck, the hose inside deteriorated because of our water. And um, it was all rusted out. So it was about 10000 Joe, to fix. Yeah. Just about 10000 yeah. They had to pe take just piece just after piece after just piece. Just for the pipe. Yeah. So well, the, the truck is um, a, a 91. So with the capital improvement levy, the permanent one that they had put on a few years ago, the new building out on 170 will be paid off within two years. So then the next um, money that they're going to use on is to get a new truck at our station. And a new truck like that, you're talking 750000 Yeah. So just to let you know where that was at. And that, that was about it. And everything else is running great. Anything else from? We got to find out. We we don't need a ladder truck to go up ten stories. You know. Right. This is a this is a, a huge truck that we got now. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can downsize it a little bit. Do you want to have uh, yes, I, I'll be asking for an executive session on pending litigation. That sounds good. Yeah, that's all I said. Mm -hmm. Anthony, you anything? Um, you know, I just got this in my box. And I don't know if you remember last year signing. Is that the aggregation stuff? Yeah, do you remember signing that? I think so. I had Paula put in your box to look at it. The only thing that I can tell is you are designated as the um, signing entity and that you're verifying by signing this that the annual report is accurate. So I want to make sure the annual report's accurate as if I would know. Um, but it seems like the only thing you're verifying is that you're the contact information, you're the fiscal contact information, and that's all you're verifying. If that's it, then I think you can verify that. If it's anything more about our compliance or you know, this is independent energy consultants. I don't know what they're doing. Are they our are they our agent? Is that what it is? What's that? An, an aggregate? Yes. For gas, yes. Yes, yes. and electric. They're our agent then, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. So so I believe that since you're designated as the signing entity then you can you can sign off on it. Okay. It definitely means that people that can get in or or hold, right? I think what this means is that what what um, iOS is reporting to them is the annual report, and, and they're verifying through Tim's signature that the report is accurate to the oh, best oh. of his knowledge. So I don't think it requires him to to know the ins and outs. Does it give a, a value for uh, for? Uh, so many thousand cubic feet? Doesn't. All it, all uh, it does. We got to know that. We got to know that, Tim. Yeah, we know it. It's just for <laughs> 459, 432, something like that. I'll find out. Oh, okay. But <clears throat> well, we already know that. It's already set. For, two, it's a, for set for last year, starting November. All, all he's doing, Joe, is verifying the contact information. Yeah. Oh, that's all. Yeah. The only thing that, now you say that, Mr. Major, the only thing that I did catch now is where it does have earnings, it's, they're filled in with zeros, and it says that the information is used for Pete Puko, the, end, the um, state agency, um, for purposes of assessing. Uh, reporting company shall report its interest state gross earnings for the provision of retail sales, for which it is subject to certification by Puko. And it, it does have zeros here, so I don't know if that matters. You might want to call them and just say, why are there zeros here? What does that mean? And if you're satisfied, then I'm okay with it. Other than that, you know, you're attesting to what you know, your address, your phone number. Okay. And they'll send me a quarterly report, like a little attachment on email. 
it shows how many people like from the beginning to now are signed up, oh. and it shows what the cumulative savings are. Oh, oh perfect! Good. Awesome time to bring it oh, in. Oh, good. Good. Call Mark and just say Anthony just had a question about wow, this is res for earnings. That I want to certify something that's not necessarily accurate. Um, the only other thing I had is, is Mr. Lewis here. Mr. Lewis. Okay. I did get a call from um, Mr. Lewis, who owned the bank building. Who owns the bank building? And that's why I waited last time to talk about it because I gave him the chance to come if he wanted uh, to speak. <coughs> Going by yours? Yeah. Yeah. He had a question as to why it was assessed on his taxes um, this past March, and um, you know, there's a lengthy history as to how we got to that point. Um, he expressed surprise that he didn't know that we were going to go ahead and follow through and take the, the, the money. I said, I'm quite certain that, that your lawyer knew. I wouldn't have done that you know, without telling you that. And I found my email that, that states that. I don't like getting lawyers. I'm not here to do that. I just wanted him to know that I, I went through all the procedures. Um, I explained to him about both properties, the Yules and his property. And I talked to Dave about this. His timeline was a little bit off. He thought that the damage was done to the property because of uh, the utilities. Uh, wow, Edison, I think. He thought it backed into the pole and that's what damaged it. And I reminded him, or explained him, it was my understanding that the tree fell long before that happened. The tree fell on a car. Part of the tree fell on a car. And I remember handling that for the village, getting the guy his car paid. That happened, and then they backed into the, the pole and all the damage ensued. So his, his, his frustration was that he thought Ohio Edison was going to pay for the damage uh, because of the trees. And I said, council's position and my position was, we were on notice of the damage being done by the tree to the car. We could not wait to find out what was going to happen. And we didn't know that Ohio Edison said they were going to do anything. That's why we went forward, as is our right. So once I explained that part of it to him, he he said that he thought that maybe Dave had said that the village would cover it. And I know Dave would not say that. I said I would talk to Dave and verify it to make sure I wasn't wrong. But it would be remiss of Dave to do that, and I doubted he did. Talk to Dave, he didn't say that. I also remembered that when I talked to his lawyer <clears throat> while this was going on, at one point, I think Aqua Ohio was going to fix it they were going to pay for the damage to the tree, and it was all done. So I called Aqua Ohio to make arrangements to get the money, and then they said they weren't paying for anything. So he may have been confused about what he thought maybe Ohio Edison might do. How much are we talking about? Here? It was uh, 800 bucks, 850 I think. Oh, for crying out loud. So what I told him was well, that... What do you think, you know? I told him that he could come to council any, any Tuesday, first and third, and then address council if he wished about his concerns, and I would bring it up. Yeah. Let council know what he felt. I didn't think there would be any remediation for him, but I said I would bring it up and let council know, you know, where where he stood. So the fact that he didn't come, I haven't called him back. I'm actually dealing with another issue, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, so I'm just letting council know that you know I did receive a call. I did talk to him, <clears throat> and um, and that's where that stood. The other issue. That's why I brought this tonight. I've been, this is the best I've sounded in a week. The other issue is we had someone apply for um, solicitation in the village. They had actually come here in the past. I, I didn't remember this until I talked to the gentleman tonight. They wanted to do one day solicitation and the mayor has it in his discretion to deny it. And he did. So the gentleman, they're from Edward Jones. Now, full disclosure, four years ago or five years ago, my cousin, Val Dapolita, who worked for Edward Jones, <coughs> and Boardman came, introduced a couple of people that just got their licenses and they wanted to go meet people. Council was going to entertain that. We never, they never replied. You never had to act on it, I don't think. Usually, council and the mayor do not allow for door-to-door -door solicitation. That's been the long-standing you know, stance of the village. So when the mayor <coughs> declined, the gentleman who is the, the supervisor called me today and said, he works for Edward Jones, he's in charge. They wanted to just come out one day, not do 
not do solicitation just to introduce themselves. They wanted to open an office here in Poland, and this was a way of introducing themselves to the people in the village. Why did the mayor um, deny the application? I said, well, I, don't, I didn't talk to him about it. I don't know for sure. It's his discretion to do so. I said, but I think, well, I'm speculating, but we've always denied. We don't want door-to-door -door, you know, going around. Um, I said, you do have the right. He does have the right to come here and you know, have a hearing with counsel. It's in 14 days, which I said would be a problem. But he has a right to appeal, and the council has a right to make the determination. He wanted me to express to counsel, to the mayor, that they're not, they want to do it one time and one time only. It's not that they're going to be doing it on a regular basis, but could they get a, a review of your decision for you to consider letting them do it one time as a way for them to perhaps come into the village as a business entity? He said they generated maybe 700000 in sales last year, and 1% of that in the village would be you know, 7000 in, in tax revenue. He said he wanted to be a part of that conversation with us. So I said I would present that to counsel to the mayor and let him consider whether or not he wanted to do that. What is the business? Franklin. Ed, um, investments. Investments. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> and I, I don't know the guy. I have nothing against him. But just like you said, the person in the past never, never did that. So. And I told him. Um, so, you let me know what you want to do, and then I'll tell him. Oh, okay. He wants to come in. Everyone's okay with him. It doesn't bother me. You okay. well, just one day. I know, but he's not going to get it. No. Well, I kind of have to think about that. I mean, people don't like people walking up to their doors, period. Right. I think that says it all. Right. So, he's more welcome to come in and talk to us, but we're not going to talk to why don't they just like rent the library right. and have a, have a meet and greet right. thing on right. their own, you know? Or send a call, make telephone calls, and set up appointments. Yeah. Here's what I would propose. <clears throat> Rather than put it all on the mayor's shoulders, I would either invite them to have something in the village <clears throat> where they invite people to come, or they can come to the next um, council session and then present it to council in general, then you guys can decide as a collective. So I can give it. them a voice, right? Let mm -hmm. them come and talk to us. And they can express better than I can. I'm mean, not their count on your council, not theirs. Would that be an idea? You may want to tip your hand, indicating it's worth them not coming. <laughs> well, <laughs> without tipping my hand, I will try to do that. <laughs> yeah, past experience, um, our residents have not wanted nope. people selling, yeah. and that basically they're selling their product. Um, we're fine with the nonprofits. You know, the kids come to the door looking for the band or. Uh, Football or whoever, we're fine with that. That's not for profit. That's you know for our school kids and those kinds of things. But for for profit, private businesses knocking on a religious store. But like I said, I I would rather. I mean, personally or professionally, I'd rather be a collective because you know he focused on he had our code section where he said it's the mayor's discretion to investigate, but he has to have a reason. And I said, well, you know, I'm speculating, but I think the reason is precedent that we just don't do that. Um, that's not really a reason. I mean, that's just precedent. Well, it's safety in a way. Strangers coming to your door. I mean, our house is sort of at the end of the village. We get a lot of people coming by, and I chase them off because, uh, you know, they don't have a permit. I did look at our code, and our code does say that you have to look at like five different factors of the person who applies and you've got to go through the record and you've got to go through background, all these different things. And it puts a lot of impetus on the mayor to do that. And you know, rather than him having to make that call, like I said, I think if they came here and they spoke to you guys and then you could let him know after thinking about it for a day or two, it might be a good way to handle it. I think it's a good idea. Okay. <coughs> Didn't somebody mention have a at something so, out at, 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 at the library. I'll recommend that to him first. Yeah. I'll recommend People that. interested, they come. Yeah. That's a great way to do it, John. Yeah, I'll recommend that first. <coughs> and then I'm done with my report with my actually. Okay. That's actually good. I'm glad you got here at 7.05. Thank you. <coughs> Anyone else have any caucus items in the last couple minutes here? I don't know if anybody um, noticed 
Does any pay attention? No. Okay. Um, Jordan put an article in. I don't know if you noticed um, about our budget. But if you happen to notice, there was an error here. It was a substantial error. It just says uh, $86,320 for council member salaries and benefits. <laughs> so you can imagine when I saw that. Anyway, she did put a correction in. Uh, that number should have been $33,320. Um, That's something when I wasn't around. She, uh, yeah, she pulled she, uh, a couple of lines. She took a little bit of me and she did Anyway, she did correct it. Hey Russ, how, how, how many um, hours do you have that you want to carry over? That was a question. He just needs to check. Um, and how about Mike? Mike's nine. Just nine says nine. Days, yeah. okay. To be sure that those items that we already said in the budget can cover the additional. Good news. Is nine days can be spread please and streets, I assume, or not? Mm. No. No, it must be all please. All please. Mm. If I make the motion, it's just upon. It's just an extension. We're not asking to be paid for more. Yeah. Okay. okay. Extended until when? Yeah. Well, I think the ordinance says that it's only able to be extended for like 90 days. 90 days. So in the next three months, you have to use that. Okay. Well, then I think before we've gone and got then another extension because of our work, the work that's going on in the street and the police. Okay. And that's, I mean, that's the thing. We're, we're just busy that time. Yeah. Just having that work. All right. 730, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call of members. Mr. Cassette. Here. Mr. Donovan. Attorney Limmer. Here. Mr. Major. Here. Mrs. Cernick. Here. Mrs. Yash. Here. Motion to excuse Councilmember Donovan. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, acceptance of the minutes from the previous council meeting. I make a motion that we waive the reading and accept the written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Notification of meetings and events to the public and news media. Blooper. That's Bill, right? We also have Blooper. I don't know Bill. When was Blooper usually? 6.30 on the 6.30 second meeting of second. the month. Okay. Finance? Um, finance will hold a meeting on April the 6th at 6.30. Um, and we will be looking at insurance. Legislation? Nothing scheduled. Police? Uh, not, nothing until... So what, what, what's our meeting next? April 7th. April 7th at, at, at 6.30. And I will be absent from that meeting. Uh, streets? We just had a meeting this evening. Uh, it's the second council meeting of the month at 6.30. Uh, boards, ARB? First Thursday of the month, 7 p.m., Village Hall. Planning? They will be meeting tomorrow, 7 p.m., Village Hall. <clears throat> uh, board of Zoning Appeals? Nothing scheduled. Western Reserve Fire District? Um, our next meeting will be held on Wednesday, April 8th at 7.30. Uh, Forest Board? The next meeting is... Uh, we had a meeting at April 18th. Uh, that's always a fourth Tuesday. Yeah, at uh, eight thirty. Oh wait, at eight. 
Seventh third. Seventh third. Twenty fourth, right? Yeah. Okay. And the high memorial. Uh, Bill's got that now. Okay. Um, uh, Dave Smith is now the chairman, and um, we got uh, a request from. Beth Queen to uh, make a presentation with the children. I'll, I'll read this. Thursday, March 19th at 3 p.m. at the Village Hall. Special program presentation. Beth Queen and Poland High School students. Research on Poland's trees and plants as a historical perspective. And that was requested or approved by uh, Chairman Dave Smith. Is that okay with everybody? Mm -hmm. And I'll be here. Here. Okay. Yeah, here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. That's all. Okay. Uh, report from Mayor. I don't really have anything other than that the February Violations Bureau account has been balanced. And like we talked about earlier, she's starting to get into the credit card stuff more. <coughs> So that's going to only help us, I think, to collect anything in the future. Motion to accept the mayor's report. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, report from fiscal officer. Okay. I'm circulating around the list of bills to be paid. And in addition, the February bank reconciliation, the account has been reconciled for your signatures. February numbers are in front of you, and there's an error um, on my sheet I just passed out. I'm showing 17%, <clears throat> but the numbers on the February um, expenditure are only on the thing now, temporary appropriation, not the one that was passed on the 3rd of March. So, just for your information. We have received the third and fourth advance from the county auditor. The first was $54,000 and the second is $36,000. The account at Chase is officially shut down. And that money is now in Farmer's Bank. Um, the star will re be, excuse me, the star will be reimbursed the $600,000 within the next week. You know, Mayor and I have to go and sign since it's now required that we have a second signature on that. And uh, we'll be right back where we were when, <coughs> excuse me, when this whole thing started. Um, and a report. Uh, Nick, is this a, a new uh, approach that Chase has? These cancel checks? These copies? Yeah, that's been that's in there pretty... all along, Joe. Oh, it has? Yeah. But, you're but now we're all finished with that. Oh, oh, okay. So we're now the farmers. You want to take a look at that? Um, and the report. Motion Wait. to accept. Next report. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Any opposed? Any from the deputy clerk? Nope. Uh, from Zoning Administrator. Uh, I'm working with Gary DiOrio on getting our MS4 certification from the Ohio EPA. What is an MS4? Uh, it has to do with stormwater runoff. Does that require permits? It does. There's yeah. a permit through Ohio EPA. Do you know how much that's going to cost? It's going to cost us $200. Uh, I've already talked to Nick at the last meeting about issuing right. and getting us a purchase order for that. Motion to accept the zoning report. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? You want to give your report? I'll get right. We probably accept it. We gave him caucus. Um, um, make a motion to accept the um, written report for the police and streets. Second. Both departments committed to writing. There you go. Um, I guess everything's straightforward there. Yeah, I mean, we're uh, 
do what you do. We'll get caught up. So all in favor of Russ's report? Yeah. Aye. All right. Any opposed? Anthony, you want us to accept you on a... Oh, yeah. Um, put on a record. Briefly submitted in the caucus. Motion to accept the solicitor's uh, report is presented in caucus. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, report from engineer. Not the Dave Davis taking care of that. Okay. I have no, no context. All right. Reports from outstanding committees of council, finance, wage, audit, and insurance. Okay. So finance, um, I think most of you already know that we have talked about the possibility of putting on a two mil levy for streets um, in the primary. However, we did not make the deadline to do that. Um, so we are actually... and. Really, we wanted to do a little more homework on it, too, to be sure that we have something good and solid to show our taxpayers. Um, so we are recommending that that be done at the fall, coming out of finance, a recommendation for a two-mill street levy that would be put on in the fall. And the deadline for filing that now is going to be August the 5th. Um, so we'll need three readings to do that, because you don't do this by emergency. Um, and that's something to think about during vacation times. We need to be on, is first of all, we need to all be on board with this. And I'm assuming that everybody is in favor of doing this because we really need help with these streets. Um, how do you feel about that, Joe? Yeah, we sure need help. Right. What's, two mil? Two mil is going to bring in approximately 115,000. Okay, because each mill is about 57,000. And as you recall, the paving that we did in 13, because we didn't pave last year, we paved the year before that. It was a little under a mile for almost $100,000. Yeah. Um, Nick had a conversation with Gary when he went over with the contract, the MS Engineering contract for the year, the annual. They're able to put together something for us so that we can have a lot more facts. He did know that we have 11.61 total miles to cover. Not counting Route 170 to 224 or 616. Right, because we don't have to worry about those. Okay, so he said the going rate right now is about $150,000 a mile. Yeah. yeah. To pay, to repay. Oh, it right. should be 50. Right. Now, yeah. those would be the ones that probably need a grinding the whole mm -hmm. deal. Oh, yeah. So we maybe some of it will be a go. little... Maybe some of it won't be grinding. I don't know. It's been a long time that these roads have been... Um, you know, we, we keep filling and patching, and last year we spent $8,000 on hot patch, but, you know, yeah. it comes back up. There's no way around it. Um, so we think that it's important that we try to do something to, to fix these roads. We obviously don't have that kind of revenue coming into our street fund, and... The star account, that's how we paid for it the last time. However, the star account, I don't like rainy day fund notations, but actually, I think of it more as an emergency fund. Look what happened in Youngstown last year. They had a, a sinkhole, was it, that opened up? Yes, on the worst $300,000. They weren't prepared for it. That is all the money that we have to cover any emergency that comes up. So if we were to take $100,000 every year like we did in 13 and start doing roads, in nine years' time we wouldn't even be done with the roads and the money would be gone. Okay, where did you come up with the two mil? Who, who come up with that? Well, one mil really isn't going to do much of anything, $57,000. No, right. So we got, with, me. with two mills, Did we have some potential two here two mil? to work with. You know, we... Like tonight, we, we, we said we do it in sections, right? You know, bad section, right. like that. Right, and definitely you should do the that's work first. That's all we can do. That's, that's just a... Mm. You mean as far as just doing patching, Joe? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Just do some yeah, patching. Yeah, we're repaving it. So we're repaving it. 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 Repaving
that intersection. Venlo College, mm -hmm. Riverside Island, Botsford, and parts of the manor. And were you going to recommend that that money be taken out of the STAR account? Is that we haven't gotten to that point yet. No. You haven't gotten to the money point yet? No. Because, I mean, you know, that's, that's where we have the problem. <clears throat> As, as Russ starts to repair, he's going to advise the streets on whether it's flatlined, dead streets that we have to do paving or with patching. So. so here's the other thing. There's money out there. There's grant money. If we could pass this levy, we could submit for grants through Gary. Okay, the engineering will be covered under our annual contract that we do with MS Consultants. We There's some... Grants out there right now that are 80 20 and 60 40. Um, you know, if we could get some of that money along with our levy money, we could really do something with our roads. Oh, yeah. But we've been unsuccessful uh, with, with that approach. You know, they look at us with a jaundiced eye. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, we can try it. 80 20 would be nice, huh? Yeah. Okay. So if you're, you know, you want to kind of think about this a while and toss it around, well, talk Mark, about it in the streets. Do? I'd like to see it go to streets. I mean, finance is happy to do our part in this. I can't honestly say I know as much about roads as you do. Um, so I would feel a lot more comfortable if streets would get involved in this and try to give us a perspective on the best way to go about it. Okay, uh, maybe we get uh, Gary, and Gary and we have a discussion, mm -hmm. huh? Right. I'm sure he'd be happy to meet. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, he's yeah. All we need is money. That's the whole problem. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, two mills is not a ton of money, but no. it would certainly help us yeah. to get this underway and to get it taken care of. It's going to take some time, and we may have to reach into that Star account for some help as we go. Yeah. How much do we have in that star? About nine, nine hundred seventeen thousand. Nine hundred seventeen. Nine hundred seventeen. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not to say we couldn't have a sinkhole here because you know mm -hmm. that the nightmare thing, uh, has popped up in many communities. Right. The thing that you have to remember about storms, when it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. We don't get that anymore. Yeah. So, the estate. Uh, Thing is that was balls. great. We used to get eighty thousand bucks a year. That's how we did a lot of our pay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as an emergency, we could always sell bonds. If yeah. We had to. I mean, we have a pretty good track record. You could uh, <coughs> go for debt. You could do that. You can go for debt. You can uh, do you know, um, let's see, you know, um, tax anticipation bonds, where the oh, list you know should go tax based on your real estate taxes. But then that means that you're getting them less money. So then you have to start reducing s services on that end. So it's a very That's what we live slow. on, that tax money. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Well, we'll so work we'll we'll on it, right? Yeah. yeah. Would Gary be uh, familiar with these grants that you're referencing? Yes. Yes, okay. he's very familiar with those. All right. He's actually doing one for the city of Stuttgart. Oh, he is? Okay. I'll get a hold of Gary. Yeah, yeah they just passed their street right. levy. In fact, yeah. he's the one that gave them all of the facts okay. in order to get it out there. Okay, good. So, and he said that that cost to us would be about $2,000, and we'd be able to use that against our $3,500 that we have. For him to generate all the information all that we need. All the reports that we need. So. Is everybody good with that? Yeah. 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 Okay. You? Yeah, I'm just fine. I'll give you a call. But let's get a meeting. <coughs> so that, you know. Let's call. Yeah. Okay, so keep us posted out of finance because if we need to do that filing, yes. um, like I said, August 5th, then we need three readings on uh, an ordinance. The only other option is we keep patching roads, which we have to do, obviously, we have to do that. Maybe the citizens would be more agreeable now, because the roads are really terrible. They are. Last time they turned it down, though. 
times. Yeah. Two times. Yeah. Yeah. I, I forget what village did we ask for last time? I think about the same. Was yeah, it? I, yeah. it was. I think I got a record of that. Okay. It's, I mean, it's we really gotta hard. Get it is. It's yeah, really it's hard because terrible. everybody is asking for after you have the state taking all our revenue away. Yeah. They feel we should pass our own levies individually. Well, how yeah. many levies can each little entity put on? and still give the kind of services we were giving before. It's uh, yeah. pretty frustrating. Yeah. Finance? Motion to accept the finance report. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, legislation and policy? Nothing. Police and fire? Uh, nothing. Streets, sidewalks, and drainage? Up here in this little box is a list of all the street signs that are going to be replaced as part of that grant. So if anyone wants to pick up a copy of it. Thank you, David. I'll have to make myself useful. <laughs> yeah, <not time. laughs> okay. uh, blooper. Thing going, that's Bill. What do you guys read? Anything going on blooper? Nothing much going on right now. A report from Boards Planning Commission. Uh, we haven't met since last meeting. Tomorrow's our next meeting. Board of Zoning Appeals. Nothing to report. Architecture Review Board. Nothing at this time. Forest Board. Uh, Eleanor Dedeker has given a, a, a speech tonight to the Historical Society about the uh, early days in the woods. And um, I talked to her. I, I think at our next meeting, I'm going to invite my key here from, you know, the. Uh, Republic services. Republic, yeah. Because, you know, the weather's getting better now and we need some help down there in the woods on the paths and stuff like that. Yeah. And he's going to be retiring in June, so I think we better yeah, utilize him uh, as best we can. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, did he say anything to you about the $5,000 that we're supposedly supposed to get from BFI? Whatever no. the current name is. That's starting this year. I just don't know when it's going to come. So we don't have oh, any what, what was that for? For, for the, for the well, he's going to give us five thousand dollars a year for the woods. When they negotiated, the, the township did their re-up oh, thing for the next twenty-five years or whatever. We're going to get five thousand dollars a year <coughs> starting this year. Boy, I hope we can do that. Oh, remember, no. we got, we had the, for for the a leaf machine. Remember, we and, and they all of a sudden he didn't have any money, so we were out of luck. They were giving us three thousand dollars a year. That leaf machine, remember? Oh no, that was the that was green team. That was a green team. Green team. Green yeah, team. well, was, I'm, I'm using it as a, as a oh, for instance. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, Mike, Mike, organization, company, whatever they are, um, they never gave us any money no. before. No. All those tipping fees went to the township, but we got the same trucks on our roadways, tearing everything up. But. He mentioned that to me when I went out for the um, ODOT grant meeting. Oh, yeah. And he came up to me after the meeting and he said, we're going to give the village $5,000 for forest and parks. So had he told you that already? No. He, I, I went to the I, 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 I negotiated with that. the health department. Do okay. you have that in writing someplace? Uh, Joanne Wallet does. I, I might have it somewhere, but she does. She was there, I was there. Um, yeah, it's going to happen for the it's next till 2035 or something like that. That's a pretty long time. That's great. Yeah, yeah it is yeah. great. Show me the money. Yeah. So, we'll ask him. Look, I didn't know about that. that. Did you know about that? No, I did not. Yeah, yeah what, what meeting was that? that? Last year, they went. They renegotiated their deal with the health, health, um, Home County Health Services Board. Pat Sweeney was there, and Mike Hayer, and me, and Joanne Wallet. And uh, we asked him, well, they asked him on our behalf. The township did. And he said, yeah, give us $5,000. Very good. Yeah. Hot dog. Yeah. Every bit helps. Yes. you got to keep us informed. Right. And that's, you that's strictly going to the forest? Yeah. Yeah. And that's strictly going to the forest? For the wood, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Because they were getting maybe $1,000 a year yeah. recently. Not even that. 500, no, 500 last, last year, year. yeah. yeah. What okay. The force. That's force board. Yeah. Motion to accept the force board report. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Any opposed? Uh, Hind Memorial. Nothing. And then uh, Western Reserve Fire District. Nothing. Reports from special committees. 
Communication from residents. Nothing to say? Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. Alright, any new business? Any old business? Motions, ordinances, and resolutions. I have um, two motions out of our Pullman Village Police. I'd like to make a motion for the request from Chief uh, Russ Beatty to carry, to carry over his unused vacation time. Um, Nick will look into the exact amount of hours, but it's somewhere around 96 hours. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Yeah. And I would also um, make a motion to request for uh, Michael Koning for an extension on his nine days of vacation time to roll over till this year. Mm -hmm. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Any other motions, yeah. ordinances, and resolutions? I have a motion to um, waive the three readings to pass by emergency in ordinance setting salary for the zoning administrator. Second. Roll call. Mr. Cassette? Yes. Terry Glimmer? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mrs. Cernick? Yes. Mrs. Yash? Yes. Want to make a motion to move this as an ordinance setting salary of the village zoning administrator, effective retroactive to March the 1st, 2015, and declaring an emergency. Second. Roll call. Mr. Cassette? Yes. Terry Glimmer? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mrs. Surin? Yes. Mrs. Yes. Yes. All right, any other motions, ordinances, or resolutions? Second and third readings. Presentation of the bills. Make a motion that the bills be paid. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, questions from the news media? JT, nothing? Everyone's quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. Very, very, quiet, thank God. Uh, remarks by counsel, Mr. Cassette. Um, uh, good luck tomorrow, dogs. Great season. Mr. Major? Uh, I got a question. Uh, on your report, what's advance three and four received from the county auditor? Uh, 54 grand and 36. For first half real estate taxes, they will send you out an X number of dollars as they get them in. That's in advance. Our total. How's that, how's that work? Well, as you send in your taxes, if yeah. you send them in the first week, then that's sitting down there. Uh huh. So then he will send that out. Oh. That's not extra, Joe. That's no, part of the yeah, um, part of the revenue that oh, we okay. expect on tax. This is not extra money. Oh, it's not okay. extra. This is a part of the revenue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm reporting, Joe. No party. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Joe. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Turney? Um, just good luck to the dogs. Turn it over. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, good luck to the Poland basketball team for Thursday. I'd like to make a motion to go into executive session for litigation. Second. Roll call. Mr. Cassette? Yes. Terry Limmer? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mrs. Cerner? Yes. Mrs. Jash? Yes. So 757. You and Joe.